As the lights go down, the field set coming to green out of turn number four. Hayden Reinbold, Shannon McQueen, Brannigan Rourke, Brock Elliott, Gunnar Setzer, the field looking for green out of four. It's waving. We're racing at Lucas Oil Speedway for the 13th annual Impact Signs on ins and wraps. Open wheel showdown out to the early advantage. Hayden Reimbold as way up the track goes the 44 of Brannigan Rourke. The 7 of Shannon McQueen right there in that runner-up position. 43 of Gunnar Setzer going to look to the low line of the 44 of Brannigan Rourke. So it's going to be car number 19 AZ Hayden Reimbold out to the early advantage. Reimbold picking up the feature win at I-44 Riverside last season to round out our year in 2023. The only feature winner amongst the field here tonight. So he's going to try to gain his second career feature win as everybody else trying to join the ranks as winners. As problems for Carter 44 of Brannigan Rourke. Como vibes on the side. It looks like Rourke going to pin it to the high side and try to exit the racing surface in that car number 44 out of Lincoln, Missouri. BRR on the side, Como Vibes, Coys Automotive, Rourke Heating and Cooling, AK Foam as Caution will wave not far enough out of harm's way for that car number 44 of Brannigan Rourke. Again, out of Lincoln, Missouri, BRR on the side, Como Vibes, Coy Automotive, Rourke Heating and Cooling, AK Foam Enterprise, Pizza Glen, Citizens Farmers Bank with a rubber chassis and a Fontana racing engine. Car number 44, Brannigan Rourke coming to a stop down the back straightaway as Caution waves. Two laps in the books. It's Hayden Reinbold, your leader. Shannon McQueen in second. Gunner sets her up into the number three spot as Brock Elliott rounding out the field. It looks like car number 44 at Brannigan Rourke going off the racing surface and into the work area. As soon as he gets into position, that clock will start as the lineup is already good and he will have... Sixty seconds on the clock has begun for that car number 44 with the purple Brannigan Rourke. Trying to make the repairs before the time expires on that car, number 44 of Rourke, as it looks like it's not going to make the repairs needed as the lights go down. The field is set. Coming back to green flag conditions out of turn, number four. It's Hayden Reinbold, Shannon McQueen, Gunnar Setzer. The boulder Brock Elliott is the field. Looking for green out of four. Reinbold setting the pace. Back to green flag racing coming down the front straightaway. Shannon McQueen not fooled as she's going to look to the low line. Let it drift up a little bit. Gunner sets are going to get a good run down the back straightaway. Brock Elliott holding, pe holding pace. Steady right there in car number double zero. Reinbold, McQueen. Setzer, Elliott, the field. Setzer, a little bit of a bobble. Entrance into one. He's able to get it up. Kind of a diamond approach in turns number one and two for that car number 43 out of Columbus, Indiana. Making the long trek here to Lucas Oil Speedway, rounding out the podium placements. Setzer chasing rookie of the year honors. He was trailing Ashton Torgerson coming into the weekend, but Torgerson not here. That's going to change up our points competition as I believe about the first three, maybe the first five, not able to make the call here at Lucas Oil Speedway. Kind of weather coming into play. Unfortunately, car count down just a little bit, but great racing action out here at Lucas Oil Speedway. Reinbold showing the way. Shannon McQueen in second. Gunner Setzer, the double zero, the Boulder Brock Elliott. Elliott moving disciplines around over the past couple of years. We've seen him run wing 360, but we've seen him run wing 410, some non-wing, wingless auto racing sprint league in the Power I ranks, jumping over to the midgets the last couple seasons. And he actually started on the pole in our Junior Knepper 55 last December with a great showing as the high point qualifier sitting in that number four spot. As out front, going to be that car number 19, AZ Hayden Reinbold. That time by, it was a two-second advantage over the seven of Shannon McQueen. McQueen holding a nearly two-second advantage over the 43 of Gunnar Setzer, who has a two-second advantage over the double zero of Brock Elliott this time by. Not much changing, 2.215 for the 19 AZ of Hayden Reinbold. 
Reinbold putting down your quick time earlier in the night in hot lap sessions. Able to pick up the high point qualifier, moving from seventh to, I believe, second in heat race competition. He was able to start on the pole as the white flag waves one more time around. Hayden Reinbold trying to hold steady out front. Shannon McQueen going to try to run him down as they go down the back. Shoot, Gunner sets around and out the podium. Brock Elliott is the field through three. And out of four, claiming his second feature win with the Power Eye National and West Midget Leagues, car number 19, AZ of Hayden Reinbold. Second place belongs to the seven of Shannon McQueen, third to the 43 of Gunnar Setzer, and fourth, it belongs to the double zero of the Boulder, Brock Elliott.